The costumes for the new Power Rangers movie were revealed by Entertainment Weekly this week, and not everybody is in love with them. They're not the cheap looking spandex of the original TV series. These suits look high tech, which has led to a lot of Iron Man comparisons on social media. One of the bigger issues people have pointed out though is that the, the design for the pink and yellow Rangers is uh, a little iffy. There's boob plate, which is unfortunate, but it seems to at least be explained away in the movie's fiction. The Entertainment Weekly story says that the suits are actually translucent extraterrestrial armor that crystallizes around their bodies. So, okay, fine. Then explain why the women rangers are wearing wedges. This isn't part of the human body that a suit would need to grow around. That aside, I personally think the suits look fine, and I'm increasingly interested in seeing this movie when it's released in 2017. And come on, don't pretend that these are the worst Power Rangers costumes the series has ever seen. Some of you out there have been playing Call of Duty games every year since at least 2007, so are you ready for the next one? What if I told you that at least some of it takes place in space? Activision released the debut trailer for Call of Duty Infinity Warfare, and it, it looks like a modern Call of Duty game. The trailer is actually getting a ton of dislikes on YouTube, which could be a sign that the series is losing steam. More likely though, it's that people are upset that there's also an announced Call of Duty remaster for Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, but it's ex available exclusively to people who buy high-end versions of Infinity Warfare, which seems like kind of a bad deal. Also, Space Jam 2 is a thing, I guess? Uh, there's been word on the street about a sequel to everybody's favorite Looney Tunes movie starring Michael Jordan for a long time now, with the reports always being that LeBron James is set to be the star. Now, The Hollywood Reporter is saying that director Justin Lin has signed on to make that project a reality. Lin has previously directed Fast and the Furious 6, as well as the upcoming Star Trek Beyond, so maybe Bugs Bunny will either get a fast car or a cool phaser? That's it for this week, but check out guylive.com geek for a bunch more stuff, including reviews of Uncharted 4 and Captain America Civil War. I'll see you here next time.